drive out for us, the Spurs at the time, because we drafted number 21. I never got an exact count of what it was. What a move! Free throw, no good for Leaky Black. Second chance for Sharp down at the end line. In the offense. So give it to Sharp and one attacking point. Step back. Look at this rebound. And a foul. And a foul. Wolfpack on a three-on-three -three chance. Sebron. I mean, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> you love that once. Wow. My I love that too. Tucker <laughs> on the drive. Really got to be valuable to this young backcourt. Dayron Sharp takes it right into the RJ Davis attacking the rack again. Up, doesn't fall sharp. Us, the Spurs at the time because we drafted number 21. Have you ever had them? Never heard of them. They're very tasty. I never got an exact count of what it was. What a move against the University of Ohio. Wow. Caleb Love, no. Free throw no good for Leaky Black. Second chance for Sharp down at the end line. He can go all the way from California. I'm going to bring my bike there. Dayron Sharp has been superb in all aspects. It is marksmanship theater in Iowa City right now. Downstairs at two shooters. That's a great way to put it, and you said it in the most positive way possible. They just think everything's going in. It'd be a good shooter to make that finesse pass. Dayron Sharp wanted the... I go right there. Right there. And they do it. Here's Brooks. Nice low pass. Down with Sharp for the easy dunk. He got long arms and fi a five-inch height advantage, but he couldn't get close enough. The alley-oop to Sharp. Nice to drive and kick out. You don't draw fouls that way. North Carolina has been attacking inside like this. Now they've got to tighten it up on the defensive end. Sharp goes right around hey, his hey, Yes. That really struggled early on. Sharp. Big body through the ball. Sharp goes. sticks with it. Well, he's backing it out and running the offense. So give it to Sharp. And one attacking point. Step back. Look at this rebound. And a foul. And a foul. Had that blocked. Wolfpack on a three on three chance. Sebron rejected. On end of the floor. Just not giving up on the play. Sebron, incredible effort. Shot clock inside of 10. That one bounces off on the attempt by Dan. Since that point, they've been practicing with more contact, and it's reaped some rewards for Georgia Tech, although here. Davis and Caleb Love combined zero points, one assist, one turnover to lose the basketball, but it's a legal play. Sharp at the end. Five to shoot. Goodwin's pass taken away. Here come the Tar Heels, and there goes once again Dayron Sharp. Coach Bray said it doesn't have to be fair, and Roy Williams said he didn't feel like that either team had an advantage or disadvantage of playing this game. Sharp, the dunk. Earl Timberlake gets Miami on the board. Three minutes into the game, he's a terrific freshman for the Hurricanes out of Washington, D.C. And they really battle hard and compete because that's part of Jimmy Laranaga's personality. They reflect that. Today, they put the herd out Florida, the Gators. Yeah, they're up 20 in the final minute against the Gators right now. Garrison Brooks is back in the game. You know, the other thing right now is Caleb Love is just not looking for his shot at all. You can see that his confidence isn't great. Long three, play tackle run it down. Returns it to Sharp, and there's the bully ball, Jordan. Here's play tech. Quick entry pass, Sharp, strong again. Davis coming off a 12-point effort against Syracuse during the week. Finds Dayron Sharp. Things that really isn't talked about as much. When you hear, you know, everyone talks about North Carolina and their freshmen. Let's see if they go to Baycott again. Hat posting up Bates. Instead, Sharp connects from 16 feet. Thus far in the first half. And, of course, Fonz is always cheering on the bigs as Dayron Sharp in ACC history. And, you know, Manny's on pace to wind up alongside Thurl Bailey and B.J. Anya as the greatest shot blockers in program history. 41 years after that, which is amazing. Yeah, and so when you see that the next time, look for the, the radio reporter in the tan trench coat. That's Craig Sager. No flashy jackets back then.
Brown there for the tip. Could not get it to go. Over the top and the slam. North Carolina running that break. And now North Carolina can sneak back to single digits. And they do. They run sharp. Got a little out of source offensively the last few trips. There's high low there. Sharp. And there's double figures for the big freshman. When he has to play in the half court, he's still learning that part of the game. And so he makes way more mistakes in the half court. The follow by Dayron Sharp. Nobody got a body on the biggest guy on the court. Baker into double figures now with 11. Dayron Sharp just too big and strong. The Beatles weren't even the Beatles yet, Jay. They were the Silver Beatles in 1960. Ringo hadn't even met the other guys yet. Yeah, Pete Best was the yeah. drummer back then. Just the second turnover from Northeastern so far. Sharp going to take this one from just hey, past the free throw line and is good. Listed at 6'11", 265. When you were at UNC, what was your playing weight? Do you remember? Uh, he kind of fluctuated. Uh, started the season around 250. Great move from Dayron, but he is capable of that. He just needs to get more comfortable with it. As a freshman, that it was a bit of a surprise that Roy was able to get him to come to North Carolina. Nice give and go there for the Tar Heels. Davis off the screen. Bank Kessler it. thought about it, gives it down low to Sharp instead. He battles through the double team and gets the easy hook. Great move. And you see Coach Matt going to a 2-3 zone, which is not something very characteristic of him, but I believe that, that has a lot to do with the opponent one in North Carolina and their shooting woes. But you see Malik Williams in his effectiveness early in the game. So again, I root for the Orange. I just don't do it in front of you. <laughs> Impressive the development of Caleb Love, but to me, Kerwin Walton is the difference in this team because his ability to make shots opens up the floor. And this is the best I've seen Carolina run. Kessler with a nice pass and the finish by Dayron Sharp. And Dayron Sharp continues. You know, they've come out of pause and just not looked like the ranked team that we saw in November and December. And really, you know, who are we to judge? We don't know what's going on off the court. And North Carolina is playing some of its best basketball of the season right now and finding ways to win even when they don't shoot the basketball well. And of course, I love my alma mater. I mean, it's who wouldn't love being a reigning national champion? I mean, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> you loved that once. Wow. My I love that too. <laughs> North Carolina has scored 80 points or more in its last four home games. Now, you and I have seen them play very poorly away from home as Sharp cuts to the bucket and gets the dunk, and it's single figures. What he does, he reminds you of what Syracuse has looked like forever, what they're supposed to look like at the top of that zone as De'Ron Sharp goes over the top. A number of coaches have told Scott Drew that they felt like, and that's not like everybody's got a ton of experience with it, but they, they felt like it took a few games. Another great cut. Remember when we first saw him? He was at UConn. Yep. We were in Maui, and remember Kevin Ollie saying he's going to be a pro. They're near or at the top. Yeah, they're offensive rebounding. They're number one in the country. Second is Houston. Love and Davis, an all freshman backcourt. Sharp back in there, spins around Durham and lays it in. Armando Baycott with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now. Nice turnaround by Sharp. Sharp pass, my goodness. And Baycott just with enough strength to rip right through the foul. Well, they've taken mostly jump shots, but, you know, Virginia Tech again with that little low cross screen, and that was just way too easy. Now, what is in the water in the Big South? They produce some players. Averaging nine, he's got 17 tonight, and there's an easy tip in for Sharp. It shows his mobility. It's just not a good move. Hey. That is a good move. That's an excellent move. Wow. Everything but the finish on the drive. They don't have Koprovitsa or Engon, the seven footers out there. Sharp running the floor hard. Good pin in. Good screen by R.J. Davis to get an opportunity for Walton on the wing. And a mismatch down low. And this high-low action here for North Carolina. Sharp showing off the skills with a beautiful spin and finish inside. And now they're seniors trying to make 
their mark in the NCAA tournament for one final time potentially. Sharp attacks the rim for the throwdown.